Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mary and I'm here with Alexa. Hey Mary. Hello, and we are about to play Adventures of Pip. Yes. Now this was originally a Kickstarter and then it became a uh, game on PC and Mac, you get on mm -hmm. Steam, but recently it just came out on Wii U. It did, and we are in fact playing the Wii U version right now. All right, so where are you right now? I am in the forest. Uh, Pip is a young man who was born as a pixel, as you will see right now. He was born as a single pixel. Uh, just look at him, he's just a little, little pixel guy. Just a pixel. Oh, a secret. And he lives in a, there's a lot of secrets in this game, I really like it. And he lives in a kingdom where people are, uh, the wealthier you are, the more pixels you have, the higher you are in society. And the princess of the realm is the only person who can create pixels from nothing. Okay. And she was, uh, Kidnapped by an evil sorceress, so everyone's really upset. She called the Ice Queen. The right? Ice Queen, and Pip uh, has been granted powers by a ghost man to become a real boy on occasion, or he can be a pixel so for like one night, like Casper the ghost. <laughs> Not quite like Casper. Um, he can become a pixel at kind of at will. Kind of not at will, so he becomes a pixel when he explodes. Okay, so, so you just exploded yourself, basically. I exploded. And so to I get can, through that area. Yes. Some of these, there's a lot of like, oh my god, don't get out of there, please. There's some tight corners. Okay, he's not... Why? Why are you doing that, boy? There's right. definitely well, an element of platforming. Yes. In addition to a puzzle element, the puzzle element seems to be... Um, you know, sometimes that you have to become one pixel just to be able to get through an area, mm -hmm. and then there's the platforming element, which is you have to be able to get through everything alive yeah. in order to succeed. So yeah, it's I've heard that it's actually quite a difficult platformer in addition to having this nice puzzle element, but people are enjoying it a lot. And there's, um, we were talking about the secrets earlier, but there seems to be a lot of different secrets throughout the area, like littered throughout the area, which makes it much more fun, I think, just to make sure you're oh, yeah. getting all those cool little extras. I like that there's so much in oh, it. Oh, there's one. I also like that, like, the game's not unforgiving. So, like, before, I totally messed up this area and, like, nearly screwed it up. Oh my gosh, Ooh, a chicken. chicken! I didn't yes. know Pixels ate chicken! <laughs> Pixels totally eat chicken. Um, I like that it's not unforgiving. So, if you lose your three hearts, you go back to the last checkpoint, which is what we just saw happen to me earlier. And I like that I can continuously trial and error. Well, what is that that you just got? This got a little face on it that you just collected. So there was a woman here. All of the people who lived in the kingdom scattered after the princess was kidnapped. So you, as Pip, are collecting them and letting them know that it's okay to go back to their village. Okay. So there's three in each level, and you have to find them, which is the, oh boy. See, here's a. Oh, are those, are, are those disappearing and then reappearing blocks? Or, no, you just have to explode to become them, yep. or to get rid of them. You explode them to get rid of them. All right. Oh, this is interesting. You're becoming a pixel now because you feel like it'll be easier because you can glide as a pixel. You can glide as a pixel. All right, so there's various advantages to becoming a pixel and then becoming a boy, but you can't just <laughs> go back and forth between being a pixel and being a boy, can you? No, you can't. You need to jump on those specific enemies, which is what I just did in order to become a real boy, or at least half of a real boy. Oh, looks like there's, there's a, a lady secret over, over there. there. Oh, I want it. You're gonna have to figure that out. Eh, eh. Okay, all right. Oh, all right, Pip. Pip can also um, uh, like slide on walls, like you can wall glide, and you can jump on enemies. Like I'm gonna try to use this enemy to get me a little higher and fail. Um, we'll do it again. He'll respawn, he should respawn. Yeah, it looks like every enemy and, and the blocks that fall eventually respawn, yeah. typically. Or we could leave the uh, area leave to the, the area. left and come back to it. That'll reset it. Or is, yeah, there we Take go. Take that bug. It's very forgiving. And I screwed that up again. La la la. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like kind of the nature of this game, though, is to... Just trial and error. There you there go. There we go. Get that lady. Hi, lady. And she oh, will she's go home. Oh, she's just gone? Bye. Yeah, they just like disappear. Well, that's how you know that you did it. And I got a bunch of pixels. Uh, pixels you can collect to buy things like extra heart containers and more lives. And you can actually buy a little detector that tells you where all the hiding villages villagers are, mm -hmm. which I really like. It's very engaging. You can probably, I'm like sitting here super concentrated. I like that you have to switch between forms and a lot of the stuff is really hidden and it's forgiving, so I'm never in a situation where I'm just ungodly angry and mad at the game. Like, I don't feel like my deaths are unfair. I don't feel like 
it's too punishing for me to want to go back and play a level again. Mm, and I think that's something that you don't find with a lot of difficult platformers is a lot of times it is more aggressive and if you're not good then that's tough butts. But yep. this one, it's it, it seems like a little nicer and easier on you. I'd love to see after the next world you spend some points in the shop. Yeah. And spend some of those hard earned pixels Whoop. that you're collecting. What's that sign say? This sign, so these are scattered around. These are like, um, you know, tips, tricks. So okay, far, boy. So it's saying that you jump higher if you're a pixel. Let's do that. Oof. I like that there's just little There's skulls. also skull and crossbones coming out Another of that dip chicken. down there so that I can be very confident. There's a bad guy Whoop. in there. I'll get you. I'll get you. There we go. <laughs> oh, all these mushrooms. The art style is actually really cute too. I think it's Aha. really easy for oh, a little secret, a little secret area. I love it so much. Um, they did a really good job. I think people can easily look at these games and say, oh, they're so simple, you know, more art style to it. But there's actually a lot of style to the way that, uh, to pixel art and the way that these things are designed. Um, shading and things like that are actually quite difficult when you're working with pixels. So it's awesome to, to see the way this looks. Oh yeah, I love the way this is stylized. It's super cute. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother going there. I'm just gonna go this way. There's so many mushrooms. <gasps> oh god. Skulls okay. everywhere. I love that there's just little tiny skulls coming up out of the pits. There's to be no miscommunication yeah. of what is down there, and it is death. Oh yeah. And now we officially. <laughs> that, so you have to jump off over those guys' heads. That was a valiant try. That was a valiant try. Let's go the other way now. Let's see what's up. What's going on over here? Maybe there's some secrets up here. How long? It looks like there's secrets littered all over the place. Yeah. What's up here? And I'm up here. Oh, this is a Who's much okay? much nicer way. What is? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Fine, Mr. Not Very Nice Bee Man. You got him. Just gonna jump he on almost you. claimed your life. But you got him. He almost did. Oh goodness, and oh no, I have one heart. I wish I had some food. Let's see. If only there was a whole chicken uh, around here. I know. A whole cooked Meh. chicken. A whole cooked chicken. Apparently, like when you pick up food, you eat it right away. Like it doesn't go into your inventory. Inven or inventory. It's you just have an inventory. Out. Yeah, uh, you can't see my Wii U screen. You can, Mary. Oh yeah. Um, it has your inventory, and you can actually upgrade some uh, weapons you get later on in the game. But there's nothing in my inventory right now. Yeah, it's got a little area inventory. for boosts and upgrades. So obviously, there's a lot more that you can get later on in the game. And I think yeah. you know this is the kind of thing where you're greatly rewarded for your efforts. So oh, yeah. if you can just make it a little bit past, you get to spend your hard-earned pixels on something that you want. All right. Yeah, take that. That, went, that went well. Angry bee man. <laughs> oh, okay. And now you're a boy again. So this is what I'm talking about when I say I really like the puzzles. You have to basically know that you can only complete this puzzle as a boy because you can't hop as high. Mm. Nope, there we go. Up. And, and then this, this one, area looks like a pixel area. Oh my God. Maybe I'm maybe. wrong. Because you can, one pixel can get under there. See that? There we go. And then if you hop on his head, then you become a boy, and then you can get up And there. I saved this little pixelized granny up here. <laughs> half, half, She didn't look granny. like a granny. She just looks like a blob of pixels. I don't know what she looked like, but she didn't really look like a granny. <laughs> do, you have, do you have problems with blob, blobs of pixels? I think Pip would have something to say about that. Autom when automatic <laughs> people who, like, when you just grab the wall automatically, actually like irritates me so much. Because really? I don't, oh. I don't like grabbing a wall unless I tell you I want to grab a wall. Yeah. No, I will decide whether or not I want to grab the wall. He'll auto oh, he, yeah. He automatically grabs the wall, which sometimes it's nice when you're like, oh, I know I'm not gonna fall, and sometimes it's, please stop, sir, please let go. <laughs> you got him. It's over here. Ah, mm. okay. I'm oh, gonna hit this, point. and then you're and gonna then go back there and in investigate. Here. Oh yeah, if you explode, there's a secret in there. I love these little bouncy mushrooms. They make me really happy. So this is a super cute game. I really like the art style. It's What's very What's the like, different colorful. environments like? Do you um, go past the forest areas and into different 
You do. There's like a mountain area and like a lava e area. It's like your stereotypical fantasy, fantasy environs, <laughs> standards. <laughs> your standard fantasy environs. I like them. I like the. I've seen the ice environment and it's oh. really cool. Oh, oh that was man. a close one. Almost into the. So this skulls. one, if I want this, I have to. Okay. Explode it and then jump and then jump on him. And then boop, boop, boop. So you have to be able to switch very fast. I also really like the idea of like, you're a boy who was born only one pixel. Yeah, it's got a cute little story, but at the same time, you don't need a good, oh, it's not It's not even that great of a story, right. but it doesn't need to be good because it's the platforming that you're interested in, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and the secrets. Yeah. That's why I would play this game. It's certainly not because I, really loved this story. <laughs> um, but it's it's a cute story and that helps of oh god dealing with an evil ice queen and yeah. saving a princess and you know getting all the grannies apparently. Do you ever save like other people besides yeah. old grannies? There's like young boys and young women, but the grannies are the ones that tend to be Alright, that was lucky. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay, okay. There you go. I did it. Yeah, uh, yay. Awesome. Pixel pit. I like that you have to change forms. Like that's something that you sort of, it takes a couple of levels to master, but once you get the hang of it, it's just like, poof, 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 poof. okay, it looks like I, are they <laughs> some all of those, grannies? No, some of these don't fit in with the others. Like the middle granny was made out of like four pixels and then that girl was perfectly was like decorated. Yeah. All right, let's go buy some stuff at the shop all before right. we go. So I have 805 pixels. What's that gonna buy you at the shop? Probably nothing. How flush are you with pixels? The last time I checked, prices were pretty high. I think inflation in the Pixel Kingdom is oh, hit pretty hard. Oh, look how nice the Pixel Kingdom looks. Right? Here are some other, some other residents of Pixel Kingdom. This salty man, <laughs> who's really, Kelly, who really doesn't like being a Pixel. Well, that's a stupid name for dude, Kelly. And then you have <laughs> this woman, who we saved. Is she nice because we saved her? Let's see, hi. Okay. All right. Thanks, Shireen. I needed that encouragement. And here's another s not as salty pixel man. I can still Just, shake it off. It's a very it varied off. group of uh, people in the town. You have your, I don't know, people that have eyeballs. And <laughs> Some people that hair. don't. This guy's yeah. looking all right. So I have 805 pixels and I can buy all, some things here. Fire orbs or bit force become temporarily invincible, or I can get a treasure detector or a villager detector. Okay. But what I'm kind of interested in is this potion, because there are definitely times when I need a potion. What do you think? Well, you can't, uh, well, yeah, I think uh, 700. You can only get one, I say. Just one. And all right, that restores one heart. Or all, all hearts. hearts. That's nice, let's get it. Wait, yes. Sweet, thanks, dude. All right and we're ready for our adventures. So that is Adventures of Pip. It is super cute. It's out now, PC, PC, Mac, and, and Wii, U Wii U now. Yep, and it just came out for Wii U. It just came out for Wii U. The controls between both are relatively the same. Um, I like being able to see my inventory on the Wii U screen, so I kind of like the Wii U version. A little bit better. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's Adventures of Pip. You can check it out right now. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.